Hey everybody, in this video we're going to take a look at how to set up a video file to play back in an Unreal Engine level and we want it to play back automatically both in editor as well as in play in editor. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing we need to do is make sure that our media framework plugin is activated. So we'll go to edit and plugins and then with all plugins selected we'll go to search and look for the word framework. And that should bring us to Media Framework Utilities. We just want to make sure that's enabled. Now, whenever you create a brand new project and you make sure that it is for film, television, and live events, that plugin should already be active for you. All right, so let's go ahead and close this since we're already active. And we can get started on bringing in our video. Now, I have a video file ready to go. Double click here to play it back. And yeah, I hate it already. All right, let's close that. So that's ready to go. And we want to get it into our project. In order to manage this, I could just drag and drop this in. But the location that this video file is in right now is not our actual project folder. And so we end up with a very specific file path for this particular computer. What we want to do is get this file in the same directory as our overall project. So let's close this and delete this little video source. Delete that. So let's create a new folder in the content of our project. Right click, new folder. And we'll just call this video playback. And now we have a folder. Double click, nothing in there. We need to move the video file in our file system to this folder. We can't just drag and drop it into the project. So let's go back to, here's their source location, and here is my project. There's my video playback folder that I created. Double click, empty here. We'll just drag and drop that. Now it's not going to appear here. Um, this file is not an Unreal asset or a U asset file, but we can add it to the project now that it's in a folder that's underneath content. So now I can drag and drop from here, and that adds our test video as a file media source. And if I double click this now, you can see that instead of having a specific drive letter, we're given a relative path. And we also have overrides so that if this project were to be moved on another platform, such as Mac OS, where the slash is going in a different direction, it'll automatically adjust according to the operating system. Right, so we're good there. Now we need a way of playing it and displaying it in our level. We're going to do that first with a media player. So we have to right click, choose media, and we'll go to media player. When we create that, we have the option here of using a uh, video output to media texture asset. Definitely check that. We're going to need that video texture. So that's checked. We say OK. And we'll give this a name. We'll call this, well, Media Player. And now we have Media Player Video. So this is the texture, Media Texture. And this is the actual player. Now, if we want to try and see that video in the Media Player, we could just double click. And nothing happens right away because we need to go ahead and select that video. Double click that. And now it plays. Yeah, I hate it already. Let's close that. Okay, so now that we've seen that, we can put this to use because we have the texture. We'll just put a plane out in our level, move this into position, and then we can drag this texture onto the plane, and that'll automatically create a material using that texture. Release, and there's our material. Nothing happened in here, probably because the media player's not playing. So let's open that up. Double click our media, and there it is. All right, so the media is playing, the material's showing it. That's all wonderful, except well, when I close. Every time I close this, the media stops playing. Let's just turn this around so it looks right side up at least. And before we get on too much deeper, let's just scale this plane so that it's 16 by 9, like this video. So I'll just go to the X scale and set that to 1.6, enter, 
and the Y scale will be 0.9. All right, there's my 16 by 9 ratio. All right, so we want this to play automatically in editor all the time. And if I hit play in editor, we also want that to appear like it's playing automatically there. So let's hit stop and zoom in here and take a look, closer look at that. Okay, so what we're going to do is actually create a little blueprint or a script to make sure that this plays automatically whenever we need it. So in order to create a blueprint for this, we're going to create a blueprint actor. We'll just right click and choose blueprint class right here. And we're just going to choose an actor. And we'll just call this playback startup. So this blueprint actor will take care of starting things up. All right, so now we need to write the script. We'll double click on this actor. We're not going to need the viewport for this, but we are going to need the construction script. So basically the construction script is going to automatically run in the editor anytime it's, uh, this actor exists on a level. Uh, it'll automatically run this construction script. And let's uh, go ahead and make sure that we can access the things that we'll need to get access to. And that is that we're going to need to tell the media player to play this file source. So we're going to need to have access to the media player and the file source. We're going to do that through variables in our blueprint. So for this variable, I can create a new variable. I'll call this one source. Just hit enter. And I'll create a second variable, and that one will be called player. Now, each one of these has to be set to an appropriate variable type so that we can attach these components to them. Right now, they're, it's a Boolean. It can only hold a true and a false. And, oh, wait, the I is closed here, which means we can't really set this. So let's make this variable public so we can see it. And so I just clicked on each of these little spots, you know, without clicking it, it's an eye closed. With clicking it, it's an eye open. And let's go ahead and with source, we want to go over here and change this to be a uh, file source. So let's click here and say media source and file media source. There we are. And so we'll hit compile. And now, because we hit compile, let me just make this window a little smaller. Since I hit compile, now I have the ability to put a source in place. So we'll just take our test video file source, drag it in, you get a nice little green box, and release. All right, so now this variable is of the right type, and it has the value from the file that we're loading in. Now we need to do the same thing for the player, so we'll select the player. We're going to change this to a media player. And there it is, media player. And we'll hit compile. We can't really change it yet. We'll hit compile. And now we can put a player in there. Drag and drop the player in. And so now my two variables are defined and they are both populated with values from our level that we want to work with. All right, so let's get the information we need out of these. So I'll drag source here. Oops, didn't mean to right click there. Drag. Here we go. Drag right there. We're going to get the source and drag player. We're going to get the player. All right. So for the player, we're going to want to open the media source. So we'll drag from the player and type in open source. And here we are, this should be it, media player, open source. And now the source that we want to open, well, that's this. Here we go. All right, so the target is our player and the source, well, that's our media source. Now this will run if we connect these triangle connectors right here, or pins. All right, so we've opened the source. Now we need to play the source. So I'm going to drag off a player. Type in the word play. And sure enough, there's the play command. And that does indeed, hopefully, scroll up here just to make sure. Yep, belongs to media player. So we should be in good shape. We'll play. It'll play whatever media source is already open. So that's this one. And again, we just connect our workflow pins. 
And finally, it would be really convenient if this were to loop for us all the time. So let's do one last little thing here. We'll just drag off a player and type in loop. And yes, we want to set looping and check that to true so that we set it to loop and drag the, our workflow pins. And that's it. There's our little script. We'll compile. Look at that. No errors. And what do you know? It's playing. Ugh, I hate it already. Okay, so there it is. And if we just want to make sure that this um, plays all the time, we have a couple little minor details. So if I hit play right now, it's stuck. It's not playing anymore. Okay, that's because we didn't add the actor to the level. So stop. Let's drag the actor to the level and hit play. And that's still not working. And that's because we want to tie this in to a uh, event uh, begin play. So let's drag all of this. Control C copy. Go to event graph. And we will just paste it in here. And we'll connect that workflow to event begin play. So here's event graph. Event begin play. Workflow pin to our open source. And while we're here, just in case we ever need to force start it, we're just going to create a custom event. So right click, custom, and there it is, add custom event. And I'll call this custom event start player. And I will connect its workflow pin to the same open source here. And finally, we're going to make sure we check this call in editor. And you can see right here, we're looking at the details for our actor that's selected. Actor selected. Details are here. There's no buttons for us to launch our event. But if I call this, check this, call an editor, compile. Now we have a button right here for start player. And that's it. Now we should be good to go. Let's save everything. Go over here. Now that that's in, if I hit play, it's playing in the uh, play in editor mode. And if I hit stop, well, it stopped playing. So we can just click on here and start player. All right, so we've got all of that. Everything's working. It's playing in the editor and we can work with this video in either mode. Hope this helps. Till next time, have fun.